In the last lecture, we looked at point estimation and we learned how to do point estimation using maximum likelihood. In this lecture, we will look at Hofding's inequality. Hofding's inequality gives you the number of data points that you need to collect to um, reliably estimate your parameter value. So let's take the same example that we were looking at before, uh, where we derived maximum likelihood for a coin to be alpha h by alpha h plus alpha t. So alpha h is the number of heads, right? And alpha t is number of tails. So we looked at a simple example and we flipped it five times in all and got three heads and two tails, which gives us, if we substitute this value in the MLE calculation, it gives us three out of five to be our theta value. Theta value is defined, the parameter is defined as the probability of landing heads. So now let's look at a bigger data set where we flip the coin 50 times and suppose we get 30 heads and 20 tails. Now again our theta value would still be 3 by 5 right it's 30 over 50 and it's equal to 3 by 5 but which of these is more reliable just by intuition you would say that tossing the coin for 50 times is more reliable than tossing it for five times right because more data is always better but you want you don't want to just keep gathering more data without knowing how much data is good enough and that's where Hofding's inequality comes in. So Hofding's inequality gives us a theoretical bound on your theta estimate. 